and welcome back so in today's tutorial we will be looking on one more topic which just recently got introduced in matter release okay um, and people are not quite aware about this this is regarding the change approval policy so basically let's uh, in this tutorial we will try to understand what is the change approval policy how it's adding benefit what component uh, got change in the matter release in terms of change management or what are the advantages of it and how we can use it out okay so let's go through this so first of all let's understand what change approval policies okay so in change approval policy approval definition are used to generate approvals according to your business requirements okay so previously you know right key whenever we want to uh, uh, based uh, if if you have a change approval driven on certain conditions right for one condition you have uh, a different set of users or different set of change approval on this another condition you have different set of approvals then it's quite hectic to manage okay and if um, you want to levels of approvals and all that things okay so with this particular module came into existence to ease these things out and to go with the non-coding approach okay so let's see so if i go to the workflow okay i will go to the workflow editor okay on workflow editor if i and this particular um, as it's a change approval policy right so one thing is clear that this is only for change management right now okay so if i go on the workflow editor and you can if you go to the change request normal so most of the people who are using uh, service or personal instance and who have upgraded to now uh, the matter release or who have uh, who, who are using before matter instances and now they claim a new instance they are not aware that what kind of changes happen in the workflow so i will show you the changes what happened okay so pre if i go to the core activity so previously there was a uh, the, everyone knows the core activity right so in core activity we have one approval um, group of activities okay and for the change management basically there was a uh, for approval driven uh, um there is a there is this activity used okay approval group so what we used to do we used to use this approval group in that approval group we used to uh, specify which group the uh, which group the approval should go if we have a single group then it's pretty easy we, we used to mention single group and that's done if we have multiple group then we have to go with the advance in the script section we used to specify if conditions if this condition might this if con this condition might this it was pretty hectic okay now as you can see after madrid you can't see this approval group activity on the workflow right so this particular approval group activity got replaced by change approval policy okay so if you go to the core okay you can see the difference that there was there is a new group of activity called change policy right and under this change policy there is only one activity which is called change approval group approval policy so what exactly the change approval policy does okay so let's hover it like the change approval policy activity can create uh, can create group and user approval according to the associate change approval policy record so it's driven by or uh, via the change approval policy record okay this is pretty clear using the what was that i using the current change request and other inputs defined in the policy input script whatever so basically we can say how uh, we we can pass the inputs to this change approval policy and that particular policy will take the decision on behalf of uh, us okay ki um, means on behalf not behalf of us okay it will take this here uh, based on the inputs which we have already given in the decision table okay uh, so basically you can say an approval policy can contain multiple decisions allowing a single policy to handle every approval required for the change type when a decision condition matches the related approval definition is evaluated okay if one or more decision match all the related approval definition are evaluated okay change approval policies are based on decision table so we will come to that particular point okay so if let's open this particular policy and try to understand what exactly it's doing so the activity seems to be pretty simple okay it's technical approval okay fine it's a technical approval um there's a approval policy normal change policy that's it 
no other thing in this particular so basically all the driving factors are there in this approval policy okay so the change approval policy consists of three components okay one is the policy input the variable source evaluated within the condition defined on decision okay you will come to know slowly slowly okay just i'm giving you a glance okay second is decision decision is based on the condition determine whether the associate changes approval definition applies and the third is approval definition key okay if everything is fine if the condition the decision evaluated to be true then to which particular group or to which particular users the approval should get assigned to okay so let's see where this approval policy now uh now we have to find in this activity though we can only see is cboss there is a thing called a approval policy and uh, we are using normal change of policy over here for normal change okay so let's find it out from where this particular thing is coming so we'll get into we get more understanding okay so let's go to the service now instance again if i go to the change okay because it's a change related thing right and if we scroll down right there are all these things and now there should be something like change policy okay so there is a change policy um application in that application there are two modules that is change policy approval change approval policy and approval definition so we are looking for approval policy right okay so let's have a look into this approval policy now let's open this out what we want to see we want to see what is normal change policy right so um these are the change approval policy okay here you can define a new policies okay if you want to define so out of the box there are few policies already defined there is a standard change policy normal change policy emergency change policy okay and simple assignment group approval i don't know what so we will take the reference for seek of understanding right we will take the reference for normal change policy so i will open it out let's see what is there inside this normal change policy okay so basically you can create the change approval policy the steps are or uh, navigate to change under change there is change policy application in a change policy there is a change approval policy perfect okay so i have opened this one out and it seems to be pretty straightforward right okay so let's look at the uh input parameters for this so there's a name name is simply you can enter the name of the policy okay application is global fine we are in global it's read only so nothing to worry about that now we have one attribute called execution okay so what execution in the execution field select an option to determine the approach to execute your decision okay so do you understand no so let's let me guide you out okay so based on execution okay it will define Key how you want to execute your decision. So decisions are here. We'll come to decisions also. So if we are selecting first decision that or decision that matches, right? So what it will do? It uses the first decision matching in the ascending order of the value defined in the order column of the decision list. Okay, and the if the third, first decision comes to true, okay, the associate approval definition is applied. Okay. so you can see on the definition we have order currently the order is zero okay you can define it in the ascending order if you want okay the second option is run all decision so decision you can say is like ki boss if this condition matches you have to do this okay this kind of thing okay so this is called decision right so if if for instance i want to say okay um ki my decision is like yeah, i want to have a pizza plus burger okay so i have two decision right so if i uh, go for first decision that matches so i am hungry okay if my first decision is burger then when, as soon as the burger dis matches it will place the order for me okay if it's all then it will wait for all perfect okay so in order to uh, you can see over here ki this is pretty clear okay change a proposal but um, 
let's see what all is there so as you can see there are two related list for the same one is policy input and decision so to add policy input and decision we have to create okay so let's see what exactly the policy inputs um and decision does okay what exactly it's so let's look into the policy input first so the policy input are variable sources that you can use uh, you can use while evaluating a decision okay to determine the approval action so it is basically the variables uh, based on which you can take the decision so as i was giving the example of burger and pizza right okay so for me the input parameter will be like ki how many money i have okay and how how much i'm hungry right so based on this to decision i can take based on this to inputs i can take the decision right ki um, what to order right you can create multiple policy inputs okay to evaluate the decision created okay and also access the change request table and any table change request references to okay so as it's a change request policy okay try to understand this so right now you can see there are two input um, policy input change request and manager approved okay so one thing okay one thing ki as you can create multiple policy input that's fine but by default the change policy input of type reference okay this is a type i will let's me open this thing okay so it will give you so by default the change request policy input of type reference is available for all change type okay because without a change you can't take the decision without the change attributes you can't take the decision on the change right okay this policy input provide access to the change request table and to the table change request refers to so it's like a simple dot walking you can say okay for normal change we have uh, have another attribute called manager approval policy okay is also available okay but it's just a true and false field so let's see this so if i go to the decision right okay so this change request so this will always be present for all the ch change request type okay so it's simply a uh, you can say a reference field created okay with the name change request okay that's it and using this field you can take decision okay you can use this particular input parameter in the decision tab that i will show you in couple of minutes okay so how to create policy inputs is like you can click on new and you can define whatever policy inputs you want to define okay by default change request will be the input parameter which will come by default it's like free 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 because it's a change policy approval okay now the second thing and the most important one is decision okay so what exactly the decision is okay decision the name clear defines right okay, what the decision is so decision record contains the condition that you can use to determine the change approval action okay based on the inputs okay create decision using condition builder when creating a change policies okay so let me open one so let's open the technical approval one only which we were looking so if i open this up right so we have inputs now we have created change policy we have inputs let's see how the inputs are used so as you can see what's given away first is the label okay so in label it's like the yeah it's nothing to do okay it's simply a name <laughs> okay the second thing is order okay order as i defined key it will it will be helpful when uh we are giving order will be helpful when when taking when we are selecting the first execution okay first execution option okay so that's where orders are pretty useful and there is a um, condition so here you can give condition ki what is the condition right ki when the state you can see if i give to and right so you know right we just saw that we have two input parameters right so you can see there are this two input parameter change request and change approval okay change request is a reference to change request so you can do anything what you want okay using 
this particular attribute okay on the change manager approved is one of the in, in the similar way you can define few more attributes if you want to okay so as you can see here the condition is change request state is assist so whenever the change request state is assist this particular decision will evaluate to true perfect okay and as soon as is evaluate to true so it will throw some answer okay Okay, okay if change request state is as is then i want to give i want to throw an approval okay so what kind of approval right okay so that will be driven right now there is one more layer okay so if i um go to this draw dot i let's try to make it clear so it will be clear so we have change approval policy okay which is in workflow okay uh it will point to or uh, it will be point to policy it's like change approval activity not policy activity okay then it will point to change approval policy okay now in change approval policy we have two things okay uh, change approval policy is made up of two things okay i will will be no, not like this okay it will be first of all inputs okay and inputs will go to uh why i'm creating so much mess right inputs inputs will uh go to decision okay and then decision will go to change approval policy okay so based on this this is driven and then change approval policy has one more layer okay which is decision record Oh, sorry. Approval definition. Approval definition. Okay, and from approval definition, we'll come to know okay, what needs to be done. Okay, so the the output from here. Okay, from this particular output will go to this. What we call. try to understand right what i'm trying to say okay to this okay so uh, approval decision will go to approval workflow okay so let's move to approval decision okay give okay, what exactly is there in approval decision so how to go to the approval decision so again go back to the change policy you can see the approval definition right let's click on that so for our request which we were seeing the approval definition was assignment group change approval definition assignment group approval okay so where is that assignment group approval perfect this is the one so what exactly the approval definition is we can use approval definition to define a set of criteria that are evaluated automatically okay before the policy is marked as approved so let's see what all fields we have first of all ki now um, what are fields so first field is name okay so what name signifies it like indicates the name of the approval definition fine okay second is mandatory okay So it's not field mandatory. Okay, this mandatory is like when checked. Okay, indicates if the approval policy must wait until there is a response from approval generated by the definition. Okay, so there is a pros uh, possibility that um, um there are two to three decision which matches the condition. Okay, so if mandatory, na it will wait for all the policies to get executed. Okay, it means at that means it's mandatory. Okay, it can't be skipped. Okay. the third one and the most important one is approval action okay so it's a choice list 
okay so it has four attributes okay this approval action allows you to choose the type of approval required to be created basically okay so it has four options let's go option option by option okay so the first one is approve okay the approve defines is like general approval record okay with the set to approve okay now the approval record will all directly means got auto approve you can say huh? assign the user to associate with the record in the user field okay so it's like auto approval kind of things the second one is reject so it's the opposite of approve right it's like general approval record with a set a state set to rejected okay assign the user to associate with the record in the user field so user field means this one okay this is so it will take the user from us and it will mark as approve reject from you the third option is like what is that it it's like add user approval okay so add user approval is like adds an approval record for the user specified in user field okay so we'll come to the user field so it's like you it will add this users to the approvals okay that is the third first like it will auto approve the user which we are defining in the user field the second it will reject okay with the user defined in the user field the third one is add users so it will add the users to the user field okay okay as you can see, uh, and the fourth one is add group approval okay so add group approval is like adds approval record for the members of the group listed in the group field okay so user field gone group field came because it's a group right right so there are pretty interesting things okay i will show you okay then the next is approval source so what can be the approval source you 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 think okay so there can be two approval source okay one is approval definition okay second is change request so what is the difference between these two okay so approval definition is like enables the selection of specific user or group okay so for example you want ki whenever this criteria match the approval should go to database group okay so there is nothing to do with the change request okay if if on a change request it's uh, it's written that uh, short description uh, i'm kidding then also it will trigger the approval to the database group okay the second way can be like ki, okay we will give the change request so what it will do it will give you the provision to select the group okay from the change request as you mentioned you told right it's a change request we want to take the approval source from change request so it will give you key, okay from change request take any field which is pointing to user group and you can use that like assignment group in some condition it will be like it's a most common condition okay that people want approval to be triggered to a approval group of configuration item table okay so on configuration in cmdb ci also we have approval group so they want based on that configuration item which we are using for change the approval should get triggered to that so you can use that way okay so this is how the approval source plays the role okay then we have wait for condition and i this really fascinated me out okay so first what exactly you this is clear right means uh, approval action is clear approval so approval action is like ki what exactly you want to do you want to auto approve auto reject you want to add user or you want to add group as approval approval so is like ki if you select approval definition then it will be like ki, okay you directly give the value and we will trigger the approval to that if it change request then you will like ki, get some field okay or from the change request okay or dot walk it out and we'll trigger the approval for that particular group or user now we have wait for condition okay and this is pretty amazing okay so the four there are three options over here first is the first response so let's understand what first is so first response is like the no common one okay it wait for the first response for the approval means if if uh, approval is triggered to a group group of users okay it will wait for first approval reject 
based on that it will give the answer okay if it's approved by one user it's approved if it's rejected by one user it's rejected okay the second one will and it will proceed okay the second and you can understand right this was pretty complicated if you want to manage all this thing dynamically on the approval group activity okay it was pretty messy right <laughs> it got sorted over here the second is all responses all responses like when you select all responses it wait for all responses from the group okay so if you have all members of the group must approve for the approval decision to be approved or must reject okay so it will wait for everyone so for an example you are giving you are given a group as xyz okay that xyz has 10 members so it will wait for the response from all the 10 members okay and based on that only it will evaluate okay and the third and the most fascinating one is like percentage so what you can also specify the percentage means how many per what percentage of user if approves okay then your change is approved what percent are uh, you it depends on means um, you can set a percentage of user required for approval in the percentage field there are now in this there are possibles okay you can keep it as empty right if the if it's empty that means you are going with the first response okay so if it's empty it's like key first user this year is this year okay if is less than or equal to 0 okay 0% there are few smart people okay who can give the values as minus also okay so for them <laughs> they have already created this provision so if is less than or equal to 0% the first response certifies the approved decision so if it empty or if it's zero or less than zero then it will consider it as a first response only if it's greater than to equal to zero means it's between zero to 100 right so um it will uh, it will be the specify the percentage of responses required it's like if 60% reject then reject if 50% whatever side wins okay like if 50% approved then it's approved else it's rejected that way okay and if it's there are few if if there are few intelligent folks okay i can give the minus value so definitely they will give value of above 100 also right smart people there is um, so for that they have already created bro it's like if it's greater than or equal to 100% right okay then all responses are required perfect okay so this is how it's driven so in simple words how the change approval definition works in change approval definition you define ki what exactly action you have to take you have to give approval source okay keep one thing if you notice the form okay say for approve and for reject there is no mandatory thing okay because why you want to make it mandatory okay why you want to wait it's already decent taken right it's approved it's rejected over here so it will not come into existence for that okay so this is how the change approval policy works okay so how to define it out is like ki um as we can see in the flow right ki that will be change approval work activity in workflow okay in that we have to give change approval policy okay that policy will consist of two things one is input you can define a number of inputs over there based on that input there will be a decision driven so there can be multiple decision and multiple decision can also match right so based on input decisions are driven okay and once we got match decision okay so based on decision we will get from approval definition we will get a value to answer so instead of this like this we should give it like okay so it's like inputs yeah it will give inputs okay now yeah to true okay this will come into existence whatever is being evaluated to true then this particular um, change of policy will take the decision right and it will pass those decisions 
decisions to the approval definition based on the decision it will give the approval group group or user okay user with status that can be approved rejected or requested right okay then that groups and all that things will come to the change approval policy and from that it will go to workflow and the flow will continue okay so this is pretty amazing new feature with service now brought up okay and again the logic behind this is also that they are moving to no code approach okay so basically um they are remove they, they have uh, remove the customization which we used to done and make a uh, turn it out into a configurations right there is also if you come to the workflow activity i just forgot to tell there is also one script uh, section called policy input key after giving this much of configuration also your business is quite interesting okay and they want to do some to some um, magic happen right which no one can think of right so then all you can do that also through the script you can write some scripts over here and evaluate those script and you can get the answers for the same okay so this is the basic introduction on change approval policy okay if you need some more details on the same please let me know please drop a comment okay i can create one more video on the same but i think i have covered most of the stuff um, in terms of change approval policy okay just if you are on madrid or after madrid instances just go to your instance and check okay what things are changing after every upgrade okay just try to get some knowledge ki what exactly change in the system right um tell uh, tell uh, so this is all for change approval policy okay please drop comments okay what sort of your queries what is the next tutorial, tutorial you want to see okay till then stay safe stay happy have a nice day okay like follow subscribe okay have a yeah bye bye and take care thank you